So I literally had someone ask me this the other day in a doctor's office, how to read an analog clock. Everything now is digital. Our phones, our watches, we get our time digitally on our phones, on our laptops, on our tablets. Um, so there are a lot of people that can't read an analog clock. So when you're looking at an analog clock, the short hand is the hour and the long hand is the minute. And the third hand that you see ticking away all the time is accounting for the seconds. So there's 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, 24 hours in a day, seven days in a week, 365 days in a year. Any hope, <laughs> the minute hand breaks out the minutes. So the 12, the one, the two, the three is not literally one, two, three. It breaks out 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then when it hits, and both the short and the long hand are on 12, that is 12 a.m. or 12 p.m. If the short hand is on 6, the long hand is on 12, that means it's 6 o'clock. All the little notches, in between the one and two, account for two, three, four, five. So it really breaks out the 60 minutes all the way around the clock. If you cannot read an analog clock, use YouTube and Google to figure it out. Because there may be situations where someone of importance asks you the time Maybe they don't have their glasses on and they show you their wrist and they're wearing an analog watch that does not compute the time um, digitally. Be blessed.